Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning I have come to Rochdale Cemetery. To be honest, it's an afternoon. It's not even morning. And I've come to Rochdale Cemetery. Do you recognise that guy behind me? It's the Aqua Adventurer, Lee. <laughs> he's, uh, he's come out of me today. Uh, if you haven't seen him on YouTube, go and check him out. He does loads of diving videos and things like that. Great, great channel. Um, yeah, so today I've come here to see the grave of Don Estelle. Now, of course, he was an amazing singer, and he was also in It Ain't Half Hot Mum. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about Don Estelle real soon. Don't forget if you like the video today, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscription button if you haven't done so already. So I'm just holding my phone quite close to me because there's lots of traffic around today. And, of course, leave me your comments down below of anything that you've seen Don Estelle in. Let's get on with it, shall we? Don Estelle, born the 22nd of May 1933 to the 2nd of August 2003, was an English actor and singer, best known as Gunnar Lofty Sugden in Engtarf Hot Mum. Born Ronald Edwards in Crumpsall, Manchester, he was brought up in a house on Russell Street. During the Second World War at the age of eight, he was evacuated to Darwin, Lancashire to escape the Manchester Blitz. It was there that he found his voice as a boy soprano at the local Holy Trinity Parish Church. And on returning home after the war, he continued singing at St Mary's Church, Crumpsall. He later joined a charity group, the Manchester Kentucky Minstrels, and performed Granada in a 1954 talent show, What Makes a Star, at BBC Radio's Northern Studios in Manchester. Estelle gained experience by singing one song 12 times a week in the show, the Backyard Kids at the Holm Hippodrome in Manchester. He met the actor Windsor Davis in 1962 at the Garrick Theatre in London and the two men formed an act which toured theatres and clubs for four years. Estelle had small roles in Dad's Army playing Pickford's Removal Man in one 1969 episode and an ARP warden called Gerald in three more in 1970. He eventually gained the role of Gonna Lofty Sugden in the sitcom It Ain't Half Hot Mum which was first broadcast in January 1974 and ran until September 1981, returning him with Windsor Davis. His Sergeant Major character often mocked Lofty in the storylines. The character was given the iconic nickname of Lofty because of Estelle's four foot nine stature. Estelle had a powerful tenor voice and had a number one hit in the UK singles chart in 1975 with a semi-comic version of Whispering Grass. followed by a cover of Paper Doll, which reached number 41, and a top 10 LP, Sing Lofty, 1976, all three recorded with Windsor Davis. Estelle also acted in films Not Now, Comrade, 1976, A Private Function, 1984, in addition to Santa Claus, the movie, 1985, alongside Malvin Hayes, who also starred in Ain't Our Hot Mum. Estelle briefly moved to New Zealand, where he spent countless hours working with jazz blues pianist Malcolm Bishop, According to Bishop, Lofty was clearly looking for someone to pass the figurative baton onto. He was extremely generous with his time and resources, and his shortbread as well, which he loved to have, which was made by a local friend. Estelle made a visit to the UK as the BBC were filming a documentary on the history of British comedy and had requested interviews. He also needed a liver transplant, but he became too weak for doctors to operate. Estelle returned to the UK weeks before his death. He died in Rochdale Infirmary on the 2nd of August 2003 and was buried in Rochdale with the oversized pith helmet he wore as Gunner Lofty Sogden. He was survived by his second wife, Elizabeth. So that's all the information there on Donna Estelle. Now, I don't know about you, but I loved It Ain't Half Hot Mum. 
and he was fantastic in it. And him and Windsor Davis together, especially where they were singing Whispering Grass. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on um, YouTube because it's very, very funny indeed. Whispering grass, the trees don't have to know. You know what we're going to say, don't you? I think I found it. But I also found him lurking over there, Aquaman. Lee? I just introduced you on the video earlier on and said that you were out with me today. How are you doing? Paul. Good man, nice, nice to, to see, see you. Mate. Good. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. That's, uh... <laughs> so, Aqua Adventure is out with me today. You've flown over from Northern Ireland, haven't you? Flown over from Northern Ireland to be here. To, to come, he was coming to do a few cemeteries with me, so I said, Yeah, let's do it. But I'm not going diving with him. I can't breathe underwater. I'm not a frog man. Anyway, I've got a show to do. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right. I'll see you in a minute, Lee. Yeah? <laughs> Cheers, Lee. Now, where were we? Okay, here we are. Donna Stow. Here lies Don Estelle, 1933 to 2003. He has left many loving treasured memories. He will be sadly missed by all. Don lost his fight for life on the 2nd of August 2003 at the age of 70 in his beloved town of Rochdale. Also Sheila Ann Edwards, daughter of Don and a dear sister, auntie and niece. Formerly of Chester Town, unfortunately, and sadly lost her fight on the 15th of April 2016 at the age of 58 and there's a lovely little microphone there for him and then it says down under here oh, I can't quite read it so, thank you very much and good night there we have Donna Stow tremendous actor singer as well you know obviously a singer first and to be singing that same song 12 times to get used to it and so forth is amazing and his relationship and his rapport that he had with Windsor Davis was just second to none um, you can't beat it thanks Don made me laugh very much as a kid watching it ain't half hot mum uh, just with his little piff helmet just walking around top man bless you mate to tell it to the breeze cause she will tell the birds and bees and everyone will know 